All right, guys, before we get started, uh, I wanted to have this video up before uh, the new year, but it just didn't happen. Just too much hanging out with family and doing this and doing that. So um, this is a long video. Sorry for that. Uh, I was going to try and break it up, but I figured I'm just going to post or put all this stuff together and, and get it done. Um, towards the end of the video, there's three shirt designs. If you follow me on Instagram, I've already put them on there asking what shirt. Um, the two, number one, number two were a tie. Uh, so please comment below if, you know, whatever shirt that you like, help me pick out the next shirt. I want to get those cranking and, uh, hopefully 2023, uh, we make some moves. Bell is gonna give birth. Oh boy, you need to go inside, maybe Bell. But look at, come out to the shop, and she wants to come out to the shop. What a good girl! You need to go inside and lay down, good girl. First breath. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Three hours later. Look at she's in the vortex a little bit. Look at. Oh, she's gonna growl. <gasps> Good girl, Maybell. So this whole process started on the 13th, and we're now into the 14th of December, 2022. And I'm about a half hour away from being awake 24 hours, but Maybell did pretty good for being a young, she's a young dog. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow and we'll get the tens off of this Volkswagen engine all right everybody welcome back it is Thursday December 15th and we've got the little buggy engine up here on my welding table uh, I started to work on one of these studs however I decided I'd stop and film it uh, let me flip this around for you so as you've seen uh, I broke both of these trying to get the exhaust off this thing so i did drill a hole in this one and i did use my extractor to try and get it out i've got these extractors i wasn't having much luck so um i stopped soaked them in some silly croil aero croil whatever you want to call it uh, i will probably soak them again see if i can uh get them out if not, I don't know what we're going to do there. I may try and weld a nut to it. And then other than that, I need to get all this stuff off this engine. Like I told you, I, I even need to get these off and weld these up. 
Uh, my stepdad says the dog house here, he can't get the one that he wants. And so he's just asking that I weld it up, which won't be a problem. However, I think I need to build some type of stand for this thing so I can put it on an engine stand. So I'm gonna do that also. I'll probably do that first, get this stuff soaked in silly coil and then get some stuff so that I can actually put this engine on a stand and then I'll pull all the rest of the stuff off of it. All right, so here's the plan. <clears throat> they make a Volkswagen specific um, thing for you to put one of these engines on the end of your desktop or your end of your bench or on an engine stand, but I ain't buying one of those, number one, because I ain't gonna be working on Volkswagens. So number two, I think I'm just gonna pull the flywheel off of this thing and then use my regular old uh, engine, uh, what do you call this thing, stand, rather than trying to get too crazy with fabrication stuff. So um, the Volkswagen one, you can buy specifically for the Volkswagen, I think allows you to um, access the flywheel and all that. But what I'll do is pull the flywheel off, um, then get it on the stand. We'll get all the tins off of it like that, try and fix those two studs like that. And then when it's time for this deal to go back together, we'll do as much as we can on a stand. And then we'll pull this thing off, set it on the bench, install the flywheel and the clutch, and just do it that way. Actually doesn't look too bad. Looks like never even been used. All right, I don't have one of the fancy little things that goes here and catches the teeth for the flywheel, so I took a piece of flat bar, drilled two holes in it, and hopefully I can use my uh, breaker bar deal here, grab this gland nut, and this will catch, this bolt that goes into the flywheel will catch, and hopefully I can get this thing loose. I cannot get the dang thing to go with my impact. And if I can't get it to go, like if the engine's gonna lift up, I may have to throw some nuts on here and maybe a C-clamp or something and grab my bench, break it off that way. throw a few nuts on here and grab this bar Still trying to move. I wonder if I'm gonna break this bolt. I don't know, I'm bending the stud. <laughs> I 
didn't damage that. I bent that sucker pretty good. At least I didn't damage the case, but I did bend that. I don't know if you can, that's picking up on the camera, but she's bent. So that ain't gonna work. All I care is that the case isn't messed up. Bent the crap out of that. That ain't gonna work. I'm gonna have to come up with something else to grab onto this flywheel. I may have to make something that can grab these teeth. We'll see. Well, it's late and we got a different thing we're doing and Tim's over here, so I'll show you what we got. So we have this long bar here. And my breaker bar, and I'm gonna put a piece of chromoly tube. Give me some leverage, and we'll see if we can run a tat tat. <clears throat> Mother son of a bitch, that thing's, thing's on there, bruh. That's crazy. I'm almost thinking, Jay, a rattle gun, you know, to... It wouldn't. Not even... Wouldn't move it. Do you have an air compressor? No, but it wouldn't. I got this one I can try. Yeah, it's almost like it needs to... A rattle. It needs to, you know... I'm afraid this thing's going to snap and rip my face off. <laughs> or I could bring my... Hey, my...
Actually, not much. You'll change that though? Yeah. Yeah. 200. Well, we got her. Tim got her with the old Ugga Dugga. Ha ha. Yes, sir. y'all it is december the 27th i got sick over christmas head cold or whatever this is covid i don't know so ain't done much with the old buggy but today i'm gonna get this dang thing on the engine stand get all the tens off of it replace the rear main seal that way the tens intake manifold all that stuff can go over to my stepdad he can sandblast and paint them whatever color he wants hopefully i'll have those back by the end of this week uh by like thursday friday We'll put this thing back together. We'll put it back in the car. I have to get this thing on the engine stand to get all the tins and stuff off, or at least I wanna do it that way. I don't wanna do it on my bench. Um, I did fix two broken, the two broken studs. I did fix those, which I didn't film. I was trying to do that in between family time and, and this and that. So I do have those fixed. Um, I also, like I told you, he didn't want to buy or couldn't get a doghouse without the heater tubes or whatever these things are. So I am going to have to pull these things off and weld a hole up or weld the hole up so that no air comes out of there. So uh, I'm going to get you on a time lapse right now. Um, let me show you what I've got going real quick and then uh, I'm going to throw you on a time lapse while I assemble this thing. Um, as you can see by the drone footage. It's supposed to start raining here in about 40 minutes. So um, I would crack the shop open, but I think we'll just wait and I'll let the rain do its thing and I'll just leave the door shut. But let me show you what I have going here real quick. All right, so what I'm going to do is utilize this piece of angle iron I'm gonna catch both bolts there. I'm gonna make another one for down here so I can catch the two bolts there. And then that hole there, I'll weld the nut to the other side and then I'll be able to utilize uh, that deal to catch basically these four holes that I'll have. And then I'll be able to put the sink on the stand. So time lapse it is for a moment. Sorry about that you guys, but uh, it is what it is. Thank you. 
So there's shims in these Volkswagens here. I don't know if, you, if my phone's gonna focus, but there's shims in there. We're not gonna touch those. I've cleaned this out with some acetone, and it looks like it's have has this sealant called Gasca Singe. And I may put the same thing on. I was gonna use Ultra Gray, just a real thin coat of Ultra Gray, and then push it in there. Okay, so this is the rear main. This one is made in uh, Germany, so it's got to be a good one. And typically, I wouldn't put anything on this if I was putting this in an American car. But on a Volkswagen, the case is split in half. And uh, I'm just going to put a real thin coat of this Ultra Gray on this bad boy. And... That'll do it, I think. And when I say thin, I mean thin. I'll show you here. So I'm talking thin like that, super thin.
All right, now before I put the, the flywheel on this deal and the gland nut and all that stuff, I'm gonna clean all this oil, but uh, I'll wait to do that. I'd like to like shove something in here so I don't get crap in it. Roll like that for now. Shoot, I'm hoping this thing will work. Might not work. Might be able to get her. Might be Damn tin. Make it hard for me to. Flathead bolts of shit. I need a bigger shop.
bigger shop. Let me show you what we got now. So we're gonna get all of these tins and all this stuff off of this. I fixed these two studs, like I told you I didn't film. And then look at this monstrosity of angle iron and bolts and shims and bull crap just to get this thing on the engine stand. But now I can start labeling stuff and getting this bad boy apart. on here is the video is getting really long and I decided to put this on a time lapse but basically all I'm doing here is removing all the tins from this engine uh, the coil all that stuff um, I showed you a few things like the washers that are in the generator and then I tried to get the rear pulley off the generator and couldn't so I've got to get one of these other lower tins off of this engine. I also need to drain the oil out of this thing. I never did that. Um, but I need to get this lower tin off. And then, like I say, I need to, uh, I may take this generator to Merle's and see about getting that other pulley off, uh, that pulley there. And like I say, I need to cut these things off or untack weld them and cover these up. I don't think I'm going to do that today. I'm probably going to do that um, tomorrow. But at least I've got um, a fair amount of stuff off of this bad boy. And like I say, I'm going to get the vacuum over here to the engine, vacuum all that stuff up. Um, but with that being said, I will catch up with you at Merle's. And then hopefully we'll get that pulley off. Excuse me. And... Uh, We'll get this stuff to my stepdad, and then when the next video goes up, uh, it'll be assembling this thing. Um, I may include in this video doing the throwout bearing, too, on the transaxle, getting all that cleaned up and doing that. And then if they're not doing a long block, I don't think they are. Um, we'll go ahead and clean this thing up as best as we can and get it back in there. So after messing with this deal and grabbing everything that I needed, I headed over to Merle's house, and we tried to get this pulley off. Case it gives, it doesn't go ding. <laughs> Start flying around. Yeah, take out the light or something. Take out my front tooth. <laughs> Perfect. It smells like acetylene. It smells like oxygen. <laughs> <laughs>
Huh? Yep, I say I couldn't get it with the brass hammer. Side. <laughs> That's what I'm going for is a brass hammer. Smells good. <laughs> Smells like hot penetrating oil. Yep. Move it all now. <laughs> she don't want to come off. I guess we don't have to, to get it off. Had <laughs> a sip a little while longer, huh? Yeah, drink a beer and. Think about things. She don't want to come off. Ain't moving at all, Jay, bro. I guess it don't have to come off, bro. All right, you guys, it's uh, Wednesday the 28th, I think. So last night, Merle and I couldn't get the pulley to come off the generator, and the threads got messed up. So I got to try and fix the threads on the front, and then my phone's kind of low on battery this morning. But I unspot welded these heater tubes off the, off the doghouse, and I've pulled them out. Now I need to... Uh, I'm probably just gonna take the grinder and just grind that down flat and then I'll make my piece that I'm gonna weld. <laughs> this stuff is so thin, I'm hoping I can do it with the TIG welder. But uh, I'm gonna get this clean up, cleaned up and then I'll come back to you. Let me show you the generator real quick. So, um, got the threads boogered up. I do have a die that big. I just haven't messed with it this morning. And I may just clean this generator up myself, uh, clean this back pulley up, um, and paint it so that when it all goes back together, it looks good. I've got the fan off of it, and I need to pull these two nuts off so that he can take this plate and uh, blast it and do whatever he's going to do with it. All right, sorry I didn't film, but I just took a flapper wheel like this and just knocked these down. Now I'm going to put a different one on that I have. Um, it's like flapper wheel and I don't know if it's scotch bright or what. I don't know what I did with it. Part of the reason I didn't record is because I had the music going. Uh, let's see, where is that dang thing? Here we go. It's actually on this grinder. So I'll set you up on a stand and this thing cleans up metal really nice and it's easy to TIG weld after you use this.
that. All right, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do as far as putting those, covering those holes up. But here is a, this is a Harbor Freight uh, metal brake that my neighbor kindly let me borrow. And I think I'm gonna try and use this thing to make what I need. But I wanna see, I moved this forward, the radius was real big. I moved the, the top plate forward, that way I can get a much crisper bend. But what I'm thinking is, put the camera around over here. And what I'm thinking is I'll make some, make it to where uh, the bent part will go in either side of this. And then maybe I'll make it a little bit long on the top and just put like a tack, a tack, a tack, a tack. Maybe tack over here, tack over here, and then maybe I'll do a tack here. I don't know, we'll have to see, but I'm gonna maybe make a template of what I want here and then uh, go ahead and do it. All right, uh, that's the template that I made. Out of some cardboard, I can transfer it to metal, but I'm thinking something like this. trouble in the corners because it's rounded and then uh, I obviously will I'll have to like trim these so that it, it looks clean but I think that'll work I mean it ain't the cleanest thing in the world but this is what he wanted so I'm gonna transfer all this to metal and I'll get these bent up and then uh, we'll start taking them in there Like everything I build, it ain't the prettiest, but it'll do. I had a really hard time. The metal is so thin, especially on the sides, that I had a really hard time. So let me flip this around and show you. But like it's good enough. So not the best in the world, but once he sandblasts and paints, uh, I don't think you're even gonna see it. I had a hard time on these edges where the metal was real thin. I just wanted to just eat through it, the TIG. So that'll do it for this video, you guys. Uh, I'll catch up with you on the next one. Um, we should be putting everything back together on the next one. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.